Okay, today we're going to talk about how to upgrade your 3D printer drivers from A4988 step sticks such as these. I had red ones, these are the original ones I got with the printer. And a huge, humongous heatsink, which actually helped a lot. It helped with my um, skipped steps. So if your 3D printer has a problem with skipped steps and your print quality is low, a larger heatsink is what you want. But these are the two, I, I mean, this one is one of the two I already removed and uh, replaced with a TMC 2100 like these they have a chip on the bottom rather unusual solution but they say it's supposed to help with uh, heat dissipation and all that and uh, I'm gonna go through how I replace it and upgrade my printer to a silent stick like this so check it out So yeah, and I do apologize for the mess. I wanted to say that these heat sinks I attached to these boards with JB Weld epoxy. It works pretty good so far. So the way we do it, I got it under power, which I don't recommend you do because you can make a mistake and you can burn something but I don't care so first thing you do is remove the original driver which is this one the ugly heatsink the new heatsinks I got are pretty nice remove the drive you know actually I might want to turn it off let me just disable the motors okay I disabled the steppers so after you remove the original stepper driver you wanna remove all them jumpers underneath which is quite a challenge for me to reach now with the camera sitting in here okay Remove them one at a time. And you want to remove the motor connector. So we remember that black was facing our way and the red was on the other side. Okay, set that aside and these stepper drivers they work backwards so if you had your stepper driver with a pot facing you before then you install the new one the TMC 2100 with a pot away from you which is actually easy to check it says direction on this pin and there is also a mark on your main board, on your ramps board, where the direction goes. So, you install your driver. Now is the time to set your current. I know there is uh, all kinds of information available how to set your current online so I'm not gonna go into much detail about that what I'm doing I'm connecting my little screwdriver adjustment screwdriver to the voltmeter and I'm connecting one lead of the voltmeter to the ground pin and the other lead goes to the pot and I'm gonna set 
my reference voltage at 7.5 volt. I say this is good enough. 749 millivolts. After we did that, we install the stepper motor connector. But like I said, it also works backwards. So before it was the black wire was facing us. Now we make it so that the red wire is facing us. And carefully insert the connector. And there you go. That's how you upgrade your 3D printer. Now that we've replaced our step sticks with TMC 2100, we're gonna home it and see what happens. Yep, it works. Everything looks to, uh, to be promising so far. Move it. Let's see what happens. Nice and quiet. Nice, I like it so far. And you see that clicking? That's the belt slipping. But motor yeah it does it does give but it's got some juice in it impressive so far well thanks for watching subscribe <laughs>